Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of Baz the Beer Swirls. Dan. Mike. Bottle. I almost forgot my name. Uh, oh boy, what are we drinking? Sexy <laughs> bottles from the local heart of the FLX, well, our heart of sure. the FLX. Yeah. Uh, straight out of East Bloomfield, New York. Other half? Noble Shepherd. Uh, my so this is their Sower in the Seed 2. It's a sexy Look label. at that label. My Look gosh. at the bottle. It, it. Just, it just says, drink me, drink me, please. That, that's please, a bottle please. you see on the shelf. Drink like, me, drink I'm gonna me, buy that. please, please, please. Oh, I would really like to. Yeah. Uh, anyways, this is a Russian Imperial Stout. Yum. Aged okay. in maple spirit and apple brandy barrels. From Hollerhorn Distillery in Naples, New York. Love Hollerhorn. I have not been there. You Mike need. claims he says the praises of Hollerhorn I Distillery. I do. And with you being uh, a burgeoning, uh, the, that looks great. Bourbon uh, whiskey aficionado, you were doing yourself a disservice by not getting out there. Oh, that looks so good. Want to give it like a little hard pour there? Yeah. Um. <laughs> we need to get a look and a sniff and get into drinking this because <laughs> I want to. That looks fantastic. Uh, black as pitch, nice cream khaki head on oh, yeah. it that yeah. just wants to dissipate real fast. Yeah, the head is definitely oh. dissipating. Um, it's, it's not sticking around, but you can f you can f like just fluff it up. It fluffs up like nougat. Oh, yeah. that's good. We find this thing. Oh, all right. It smells a little cold. It is. We've had it sitting out for for a little bit, right? But, but my are those barrel notes just like itching to get out there? There's just like okay, so there's you get that kind of dark, rusty, robust kind of like uh, bitter characteristics that you would get from like a Russian Imperial Stout mm -hmm. with a cacao, cacao, um, cacao. But coupled with that, just sweet natural maple and then you start getting those baking spices from that apple you get your cinnamons and oh, yeah. just nutmegs and just like ugh. all the the soaked aged wood is just like meandering in there nothing is like in your face it's just all pleasant and soft and velvety and it it, it feels like this is gonna be a real smooth sipper of a beer. There is a bit of charred character from that barrel. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, huge wafts of just like char, but it's like a sweet fruited char. Yeah. There's definitely those stone fruit notes in there, like the fig and whatnot, and dark cherry. Oh, this. Okay, the only thing though, I can sort of tell on the smell. We'll see if it is. I think it might be a little drying. Okay. What what do you, what I was going to say you... I, I I get wafts of like the alcohol astringency. Okay. So I, I feel like that's going to no, play a factor. Uh... Let's dive in. Ooh. Cheers. delicious <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I said it by the way I did not say it now that I'm thinking about it uh, it is 11.5 ABV the alcohol is there mm. but it is a really nice that's like a, any kind of bourbon alcohol astringency I've ever got like there, there is very much it is so you can, I'm almost getting like a, a young whiskey. Like there, there's a young whiskey okay. has that kind of ethanol kind of boozy character and the grain hasn't had time to kind of just mellow out a little bit. Okay. Definitely young barrel, but. Uh, yeah. All right. The sweetness of <sighs> that apple brandy. Yeah. Coupled with that dry bittering kind of. It's like almost like chalky a little bit. Yeah. Like Mouthfeel. So yeah. my next note was I was going to say, based on what you said initially on the aroma, there is a dryness there, but I really get like a, a baker's brownie chalkiness to it. Yeah. Um, it's getting sweeter. <sighs> yeah. 
the definitely oak tannins for days. Like you, you taste nothing. Like charred. I I don't want to keep repeating myself. <laughs> I don't. Okay. All right. So, man, it's like you took a piece of like eighty percent cacao, cacao, and put some like apple slices on it and some okay. simple syrup and placed it on an oak barrel. Took a torch to it. And if you could lick all that, okay. that's what you're getting. Mine is turned into those chocolate-covered cherries that you get with the, mm. the syrup inside them. Oh, like yeah. big time. Uh, mixed with that charred oak barrel all around it, like a smoky flavor to it. I feel um, like this is evolving as you drink. I was just gonna say, like, this is still kind of cold. And I think as this warms, it's just going to continue to blossom and open up and become even more decadent. Okay. 11.5 ABV. What do you think of the body? Thin. I think it's a little thin. It's, I think it's a little bit more than a little thin. I think it's thin. I would like, I would like more heft out of this. But when you age something, uh, aged eight months, by the way. Uh Uh-huh. I keep on forgetting the information I was going to put in there. That's okay. This beer, it. Please with your mind. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it's not a deterrent for me, but it's definitely no. what I noticed right off the first the, the thinness is making you drink it more. It really is. Like, <laughs> I'm hammering this, but... Mouthfeel, it's carbonated. Yes. Uh, I think it's... It's not overtly carbonated. I think the carbonation is actually quite on point. Mm. Um... Yeah, man. getting that wet Noble wood, Shepherd wood Hollow Horn. This is God, delicious. What a great! I, I wish I, had, I wish I had purchased two bottles. I I myself would like to go out and get uh, a bottle. This again, some more information. Uh, this was released, uh, I believe, on November twenty fourth. Correct. Of, so uh, two thousand twenty three. So at the time of filming, we're drinking. I don't know what a month and a half out. Sure, two months. Oh, man, Close. This is this is delicious. I really like this a lot. Oh, it's really good. What do you rate it? I'm going to... I'll give it a 4.45. Be a little higher if uh, the body was a little bigger. There we go. That fixed the video. Okay. Uh, what'd you give it? 4.5. 4.45. Wow. Okay. It's yeah, I, it's up there. I'll give it a, like a 4.3. Okay. If that body was oomped up, I'd yeah. give this a four seven five. I really think that's the only detriment to this. The taste is wonderful. <clears throat> <laughs> Buckle up. Lots of dead air in this one. <laughs> that's okay. But if you're it's in that okay. area, get you some of this. Yeah, and just get out to Noble Shepherd in general. It's a very unique brewery. The atmosphere is fantastic. It's one of the best ones in the area. And here's the thing. Region. I'm not going to tell you where I bought this because I'm <laughs> going to buy it all. <laughs> All right, gang. All the links down below. Uh, Yeah, check them out. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.